All right, so today we're actually going to be designing and building a platform for a stove. So Christy is actually going to be helping with this today. Um, so why are we doing this? And why do we think this is important for you to know? So a couple of things. One, um, sometimes you run into to issues when you're renovating your houses, whether it's a rental you're keeping, whether it's a flip, and some accidents may happen or um, you're trying to design something into uh, the, the house and then you need to fix something that went awry. So um, in this case, um, somebody that is uh, in, in our sphere of influence, right? Connected to us on Facebook, um, actually posted and asked a question about how how would they address a situation where they built up their base cabinets in the kitchen and they were higher than normal and so the stove wasn't level okay so the the top of the stove typically is going to be flush with the countertop so we have this brilliant idea and we offered to do this they live in in the local area so we offered to do this for them um, to solve this problem so we're going to actually raise the stove by building a platform that will sit the stove on top of, and then ideally, now it's gonna be flush with the countertops. Now, you ask why, why, you know, why would we do that versus taking the, the base cabinets out? So, their base cabinets are hiding a low boy water heater. So they had to be higher than normal, and they wanted everything to be at one height, which is perfectly fine. So now we just have to solve for the actual stove, right? and the platform is going to be what we're going to use to do that so i don't know if you can see this or not maybe christy can go see if it's in in here um, but here is the design of the platform and what we're going to be doing is it's going to be two by fours we're using pressure treated just to keep it sturdier if it's touching concrete um, we're going to actually build this frame and christy's actually going to be using this Craig jig and uh, she loves this thing she actually used it yesterday on a project and so we're gonna build pocket holes that are gonna make this sturdier and then on top of this platform we're gonna put a half inch two by four so we think that the depth I mean half inch plywood thanks so um, we actually we've been told that the height that we need to come up is two inches so when we actually utilize, and I'll just get a piece, when we utilize this wood and we actually measure the height of this, you got it, is yep. what? One and a half. So they might not be able to see that in the camera, okay. but so one and a half, I don't know if they can see it though. Okay. okay. So anyways, this wood is one and a half inches. Yep. Okay. So then when we add a two inch piece of plywood on it, it's going to be two inches. And so this is going to be the base that we're building. And um, what we're going to do in the front to match our white cabinets is just get a trim piece of white type uh, quarter inch material and put it on the front. So that way we'll be hiding this base. So we're going to build it. We'll come back later and kind of show you. We might take some videos through the process. So we're going to go ahead and start the building process. Okay, so now we're finishing up with the Craig jig. And Christy is drilling out the holes that we're going to then use to connect everything together. So you can see, um, there's the holes. And all four pieces of wood have two of those on it. So we can connect everything. So and next. Very okay. hot. Uh, and it's hot out <laughs> so next we're going to start putting it together and we'll show you that when it's together before we put the plywood on all right so we now have connected all this together so remember we had two pieces that were the same length two pieces that were the same length and we have done our uh craig jig pocket, uh, hole. pocket holes and now we have screwed all this together. And I mean, this is like, I mean, it's solid. Not going, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. So this is our base. 
Next, what we're going to do, this is going to be our bottom, and I, I, I want to just point something out. So you might not be able to see this, but this is the, the uh, wood grain. And we designed this because we want to always put the frown down. So this is where the frown is, and we're going to lay this on the bottom. So we made sure that all these were going to be frowned down, and we're actually going to be putting the plywood actually right on top of this, and that's going to be sitting on the ground. So next up is us with the plywood on. Okay. So we're back now. We have cut um, just our foundation of our frame here and the pieces that we cut there was two pieces each that are certain length so that we can box it out this way and then when we use the Craig jig it's going to make it really tight so so this piece was 20 inches and 20 inches and then this piece we ended up cutting 26 and a quarter each okay so then you can see we're staggering this so we can attach this piece to this piece same here, same here, and that's actually going to allow us for a really strong um, connection. And then when we're done, we'll be putting a half inch piece of plywood on top of this and, and uh, screwing that down really well. And then at the front, like I said, when we take this over and, and put it down, we're going to put a trim piece that's white that'll match the cabinets until you'll never even really know it's there. So this is the next step in the process.